Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Keith the Cave, I'm more back playing Minecraft yet again. But I'm doing something well, doing something different. Like last video. I hope it's last video, I don't know if Kevin uploading, but never mind. Uh, I'm here if you know I'm in a flat world, you know. I'm not trying to ruin a surprise, but I'm in, I'm in the flat world. See why it's a surprise in a minute, but uh 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 yeah. You know how I did that video about the timeline, uh, yesterday, or a few days ago, or whenever? Well, I enjoyed doing that, and, uh, I found something else. I did find- I did actually look at this when I was researching everything else for this, but I never actually put it in. And, uh, yeah, so, um, no. This is what it is, 3, 2, 1. Ta-da! 2013 music update released on November 13th, 2013. Basically, C418 or C418 or C418 created and produced 16 new songs. And I uh, this note block here just to know that if you didn't actually, note blocks were, were actually added and they were not added during this. No, they were added a while back, but. I just placed this here just because, you know, it represents it, but maybe you're wondering, why is this important? Why is this interesting? Well, C418, or as in real life he's called, Danielle Rosenfield, and uh, he produced 16 new songs that it clearly says. And I'm just analyzing the sentence, just telling you what it is about the 16 new songs. Basically, these 16 new songs were, well, they were split up into different sections. And you may be wondering how, like, why haven't I heard this before? Well, well, you see, let's just go into, um, music and sounds. Basically, everyone has music off, because this is what he added, like, songs, like, no music in Minecraft, so you won't listen to with nothing. <laughs> or just whatever, farm animals or mobs. Every, everyone, like, every YouTuber does not like the music on, so we always have it turned off, but at the time, everyone wanted to hear it, so as I'm shuffling my paper around to, um, give you this information, if you can hear me clearly, uh, the music that he up gave us was, like I said, flip in the sections, like, in, like, well, the four, there, there are four songs literally in the main menu, for example, in the main menu screen, you would have four songs that could play, not all at once, not at all at once, if you're thinking that, not all at once, but in, like, random, I, I, I suppose it's random. Uh, they were called, the songs are called Mutation, Mood City 2, Beginner 2, and Floating Trees. And there were six tracks, or six songs that you, you could say, they were called tracks, but... I mean, you can say that, but I'll call them tracks. Uh, there are six tracks when you go and create, like, like, right I mean now, you listen to mute songs or music. Uh, they were called Biomes Feast, Blind Spots, Haunt Husky, Aria, Aria, Aria Mass, Dreton, and, uh, Tazwell. Some of these names don't necessarily know what they mean, just the fact that, um... I guess he means something in, like, Europe over there, because that's where Minecraft was developed for a very long time. I think it still is. Yeah, yeah, it is. Or oh, Microsoft bought, him, bought this, so... I guess they're American company. Whatever, I'm moving on. <laughs> uh, there are four, four tracks that are, that you go in, that are, that are in the nether, so if you're going to nether, you hear his music. Just heads up, these... You'd expect, uh, these songs that actually, like, I see where they got from. Uh, the four tracks, another Concrete Halls, Dead, Dead vo Vocals, or Voxels, whatever it's, I don't really know the pronunciations of these. Warms, as you can as warm. And, Bald of the Cats. And, uh, if you don't know what that means, back when they were adding in another and all the mobs, they had the gassed, and they were figuring out how to make, like, what sounds a gas would make. So they basically took, like, one of the employees' cats, and used, like, a, like, a, they, they used, like, auto-tune on it. Like, I think it was, like, sleeping, or, like, it meowed, or it was sleeping, and they used it as the gas. Like, so what you hear is the gassed is the cat doing whatever it was doing, 
auto tuned at like a low pitch. So a long, low pitch screech. That's why it's called Ball to the Cat, because it it's a reference to that. Moving on, there's there's one track added to the end, which is called The End. Simple as that. I mean, I don't have to go any further. And there's one credit during, during, there's one track during the credits. Sorry if I just ruined that. I said one credit. There's one track during the credits. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, it was called Alpha. You know, you know what credits, you know what credits I'm talking about is when you jump into the end portal, you feel the credits. Everyone, everyone press escapes immediately because they don't want to deal with that, but listen to it. You know, very easy. Go and create, like, a little go in there, go into the end, which is all the way over there. I just go back to the end. Fight the end of the dragon, go in the end credits, and listen to the music. And there's one track while fighting the end of the dragon, which is, of course, very interesting indeed. So that's about it. Uh, this. November 13th, 2013 is literally, like, the date, as I said in the beginning of the video, and it's also a month before 1.7.4, which is when they added in chicken jockeys, you know. As I went over it last time. So. That's, that's about it for this episode. And, uh. Like, subscribe. Do all that. Hope you enjoyed. Get the mini update on the timeline itself. And yeah. I'm Keith at K-Bob. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye.